Hey everyone, it's Candace. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, my husband and I are headed out shopping in just a little bit, trying to get that last minute holiday push um, all finished up so we can get it wrapped and under the tree. Uh, but I thought I would share um, some of my favorite holiday mint teas with you. Um, for me, hot tea is one of the best things that you can have, especially in the evening, especially if it's decaf in the evening. <laughs> um, and mint just adds that extra little something. In the summer, it's very refreshing. In the winter, it's kind of warm and cozy. So um, I wanted to share these brands of mint tea with you, um, make some recommendations, give my honest opinion on what I think. And if you do go out and get them um, and give them a try, I'd love to know what you think. So um, grab your mug. My mug, I actually don't have um, tea this morning. I have coffee. Um, but it is mint coffee. Um, it's Trader Joe's Peppermint Mocha ground coffee, um, and it is one of my holiday favorites as well. So with that in mind, let's jump in. Um, the first brand that I'd like to share with you is from Traditional Medicinals. Um, I ordered this online, and I ordered like six boxes, and it was like, I don't even know, $36, something like that. Um, this is a wonderful all-around year-round tea. It's wonderful warm. It's wonderful over ice. Um, in the summertime, it's very refreshing, especially if you do need that little burst of caffeine but don't want to do the whole coffee investment because ca caffeine is a diuretic and um, the less caffeine, the better. But I know if I don't have caffeine a little bit every day, I get screaming bad headaches. So um, this is my alternative. In the summer, I'll just brew it and then pour it over ice and it's very refreshing um, that way as well. Um, the flavor on this one is very much what the label says. It's green tea, not flowery green tea, um, but green tea and peppermint, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's no like real sweet to it, there's no vanilla to it, there's no cinnamon or anything like that. It's just tea and mint. So if you're looking for something very simple, um, and yet very, very delicious, this is something I would definitely recommend. Uh, the second flavor is more of a holiday staple. Uh, this is Trader Joe's Candy Cane Green Tea. Um, it is a green tea that is decaffeinated, so this is great for those cold winter nights at home. Um, maybe when you're watching your favorite holiday movies or reading a good book, um, anything like that is perfect for um, this one does have a touch more of the typical holiday flavor with the vanilla and the cinnamon, um, but it, it's really, really good. I think it's like $1.99 a box, um, at my Trader Joe's anyway. Um, and, um, yeah, I really enjoy it a lot. One thing I will say about this particular, uh, tea is I made the mistake of stocking up on too much of it, so I didn't use... All the boxes in one year so I'm like okay I'll just keep them for the following year well the bad thing about that is that the tea bags are 100% recycled content um, and they did start to break down so like my first tea my first cup of tea out of the the following year out of the old box um, had tea leaves and and other other bits in it um, which I'm not a fan of and I got to looking in the box, and most of the bags had at least a small hole in them. Um, but that was my own fault. It wasn't manufactured defect. It's just breakdown. Um, so just keep that in mind with this one. Um, buy as much as you'll use or give away as a gift. It's delicious. I would highly recommend it. Um, but just watch out for that. Um, this is Celestial Seasonings Candy Cane Lane. Um, it's also a decaf green tea. This, for the longest time, um, actually until this year, was my favorite holiday go-to tea. Um, it's vanilla-y, it's cinnamony, um, it's got some chicory and some orange in it, and it, it's just really, really, really delicious and comforting. Um, it's good if you have a cold or um, some sinus stuff going on. Uh, just warm it up and just take your time and just sip and enjoy. Uh, it really is delicious. The first time I actually found this, however, um, I think I found it at Target. Maybe it was at the grocery store. 
Um, I don't really remember because it was so many years ago. Um, so I bought some, went through it. Fabulous. The following year I went back to get more and I couldn't find it. Um, I actually had to order this from Celestial Seasonings online. I'll put the link below. Actually, I'll, I'll put the link to all of these below. Um, if not available in like a Trader Joe's or something like that. Um, but I, I had to order these, um, which was kind of disappointing because there were some other um, holiday tea flavors that Celestial Seasonings does that are good. Um, but in my opinion, not as good as this one. And it, it just kind of, it was disappointing to know that, that um, I had to order it rather than just being able to go to the store and get it. Because, you know, not, not too many people, maybe, I don't know, if you, if you order your tea, let me know. Um would would go and wait for a shipment of tea when they can just go to the store and pick something else off, off the shelf. Um, I used to be that kind of a person, but not anymore because I will order this because it is so delicious. So um, keep that in mind. Celestial Seasonings, Candy Cane Lane, Peppermint Green Tea. Okay, the next type of tea that I'm going to share with you is probably my least favorite. Um, not all is sunshine and roses when it comes to tea. Um, but the next one that I am going to share with you, I do enjoy. Um, but there's just a, a couple of tweaks about it that make it not one of my favorites. Um, it is from the Republic of Tea. And if you've not tried their teas, I would highly recommend them. They're high quality. Um, the packaging is amazing. They're round tea bags and they're awesome um, over... They're awesome hot, they're awesome over ice. Um, I would just highly recommend the brand. This is their uh, cup of chocolate tea, chocolate tea, uh, peppermint chocolate. And you brew this, it's caffeine free. Um, it's an herb blend of rooibos with peppermint and chocolate. Um, so it is caffeine, it's, it's something that the reviews said would make an excellent after dinner low calorie treat. Okay, so I'll give it a try because if it tastes anything like hot chocolate, I'm all over it. Um, the first taste did not taste like hot chocolate to me. Um, the first taste of this tea was, in my opinion, very bitter. And I think that was because of the amount of, of cacao in, in the tea um, and nothing really to balance it out with some sweetness. Um, so after the first few sips, I, I wasn't really feeling it. I didn't know if I was going to really enjoy it. Um, but then I thought, okay, what if I add about like a teaspoon of honey? And actually that did the trick. I, th I thought it was really delicious after that point and, um, and finished the cup. And, and I'm willing to drink it again because of that little tweak. But um, just be careful. Well, not really careful. Maybe some people like bitter chocolate. I'm not a big fan of dark, dark, dark chocolate that's really bitter anyway. Um... But I do know some people that like that over milk chocolate. So maybe this would be more their speed. I don't know. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, again, I'll put the link down below. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. When I first mentioned the Celestial Seasonings Tea, I explained that that had been my favorite holiday go-to peppermint tea for years. Um, that was until this year. And the tea that I'm going to share with you next is the reason that that is no longer in its place. Also from the Republic of Tea, uh, we have Peppermint Bark Cool Winter Herb Tea. This is about the most perfect peppermint tea I have ever, ever, ever had in my life. Um, it's a beautiful blend. Uh, it is a rooibos blend with peppermint, vanilla, and cocoa. Um, but there's no one of those flavors that actually stands out over any of the other. It's a beautiful blend. Um, it is decaf. <clears throat> but there's something about curling up with a cup of this tea um, with a book or a magazine uh, in the evenings and just getting ready to snuggle into bed. It tastes like peppermint bark candy. Uh, and I'm not even, I'm not even joking when I say that. I'm not exaggerating. Um, I did it just absolutely as is. I brewed it. I didn't add any tea. I didn't add any sweetener of any kind. And in my opinion, it was perfect. So, um, this 
this will probably be my holiday standard from here on out. I do enjoy uh, the Candy Cane Lane Tea from Celestial Seasonings um, very, very much, and will continue to drink that as well. But given, given the choice of the two, I would probably choose this one over that. Um, so again, give it a try. Give both of them a try um, and let us know what you think. Um, that is actually the last brand I have for you today. Um, hopefully, Lacey will be able to join me on our next video. Uh, we've kind of got some plans in mind to maybe do like a winter uh, tag video or something like that. So um, we really appreciate the subscribers that we have. Um, love the comments. Keep those coming. Um, we'll try and respond as quickly as we can. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you have a great weekend. Um, and happy holidays to you all. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.